Awesome. Hi, I'm Mary Beth McAndrews from Dread Central, and I'm so excited to be chatting with you both today. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, nice to meet you too. Um, Kita, I love your jacket. And uh, Kay Todd, I love the bookshelf behind you. I want a bookshelf like that in my home. It looks precarious and incredible. Um, okay. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you where to my, get it and we're done. <laughs> thank you. Um, my first question for both of you, but starting with Kita, um, what was your familiarity with Sweeney Todd before you came onto this project? Were you familiar with the musical or any of it at all? Yeah, so I was of course familiar with the musical. I mean, I'm a musical theater. Okay. Um. <laughs> so you knew. <laughs> were you ever in it? Were you ever in it? Uh, say that again. I'm so sorry. Were you ever in it? No, I've unfortunately not. Okay gotten to do it but I would love to play um uh, uh Joanna um yes I, I can that the creator and I and Mark we already have plans we're like you're gonna get this we're gonna do this but anyway that's aside from the point um I think the great thing about it is that the, the material for this is not based on the musical it's not based on the Tim Burton movie it's not based on anything else other than the original source material that everything else takes its you know it's uh takes its inspiration from um, yeah. but yes I was aware of the you know more popular iterations up until this point but now people are gonna be like this is the most popular <laughs> yeah. and then about you Kay Todd what was your familiarity with Sweeney Todd before oh, coming on to yeah, this project I, I knew all the I knew the movies I knew the the, the well I knew mostly the Broadway um, the Angela Lansbury Broadway version oh did you see that amazing the song time <laughs> Well, I saw it on TV. Calm down. I wasn't. I, on TV. I was like, wait. Uh, uh, <laughs> but uh, I saw it on television, and I loved it. I was crazy about it. Oh, and I had the score. I had the double album when I was a kid. So I, I well, oh my I got it. Wait, who were you and, wanting to play? I never wanted to play anyone, but I just loved it. Well, no, I did want to play. I did want to grow up and play Sweeney. Okay. I would have loved okay. But uh, so we do that. Putting it out there right now. That we're going. Huh? We're putting it I'll out there. Right be sweetie i'm gonna be joanna okay and i'll knock josh groban off the stage now <laughs> yes oh my god <laughs> manifesting it everybody <laughs> with you including knocking josh groban off of the broadway stage anyway <laughs> oh no oh no i didn't i didn't mean it badly but she, i'm scared of you okay, i'll let her <laughs> say what needs to be said next question <laughs> Go absolutely on. incredible <laughs> well then also then what drew you both to this project and also with Kate Todd this time what was so attractive about being a part of this sh about this series the horror of Dolores Roach uh well uh, as I said before uh Aaron Mark the creator really um allowed all of us to uh, to contribute and to collaborate with us on the creation of our on the development of our characters and who we were and what happened to oh. them. So he, yeah, so he was very much you know he suggested he made the suggestion of you know what he wanted to happen to Jeremiah and I was like yes I think that's fantastic you know and I love that he's a bit off kilter he's left of center and I love playing slightly abnormal people. Um, I think normal A doesn't exist and normal B is boring. So I love being. And so that's what Jeremiah is. I don't know if you've seen all eight episodes or if you've just seen a, a bit, but uh, I love that Jeremiah starts off one place and ends up in a very different place. Uh, I'm almost I'm, done, but I haven't finished all the way. But I do like Jeremiah getting increasingly unhinged about meat delivery. I'm yeah. very, very excited <laughs> about how that is going. <laughs> so, uh, so I do love that uh, uh, Aaron um, and all the writers are very amenable to collaboration. And that's what really attracted me to being in the in the project because you rarely get that kind of um, opportunity as an actor. Yeah. Um. So really quick before we get to Kita, what were there, was there anything specific that you brought to Jeremiah's character that you were excited to kind of pitch to them to have be part of the character and then kind of actually made it into the show? Uh, Wait, what? You said who, which one of us, Kita? Right. Or oh, for Kay, for Kay Todd. I'm so sorry. It was a follow up to Kay Todd. I'm oh, so okay, sorry. Okay. It was a follow up. <laughs> <laughs> it was just that I like playing intelligent people. Now, okay. Whether it's misplaced intelligence, that's a different story. But I like the fact that he has an intelligence that um, that he works from. Oh yeah. And then Kita, now to you. Like, what drew you to being a part of this project? Um. Well, working on it since the podcast, I really enjoyed that 
it was based somewhere where I was actually living at the time, three blocks oh, cool. from the story. Yeah. Um, and Aaron was like, he said, so from the, before I even said yes, Aaron got on the phone with me and we talked about that project for about an hour. I said, oh, I like him. I like him a lot. I think I want to do this. And I trusted him with what he was going to have us do. And then after we did the podcast and we knew it was going to be sold to a production company for a show, we talked for a long time, for several years about the character of Nellie. And I saw all the ins and outs and everything that would happen. We became very close friends. And I was just like, this is somebody who I love as a friend. This is somebody who has worked on this character and wanted to hear my opinion. And I was like, there's no other reason. And there's not many other chances in life where you would get to be able to play a character like that. So it was a, it was, there was no thought behind me even wanting to think about taking this character. It was, yes. It was just like, can I do it? Will they let me do it? So it sounds like Nellie is just like, has been part of you. Cause you said you played Nellie in the podcast too, correct? Yeah. it's been So fun. like you've gotten you've gotten to like see her grow and that's gotta be so like what was that experience like being able to like not just speak Nellie like have Nellie's voice but like actually embody Nellie's character on screen like that must have been such an amazing process to be able to do that and bring her to life that way yeah I think because of how close of a uh, friendship we fostered Aaron Mark and I the creator um I yeah. think Nellie just kind of became enmeshed a little bit and to my life living in the heights um a lot of the things that i was seeing there even a little bit of my relationship at the time became enmeshed into what nelly's relationship is um all of these things we were talking about not only just from my uh experience before you know a writer's room or anything happened but when the writer's room happened we had all the actors cast, these are the types of things that Aaron and the rest of the writers were asking um, every other actor as well. So it was always that sort of changing, evolving, even I'm sure from K Todd even had that experience from what he thought, you know, if he can talk about it, but from the pilot to what the actual, you know, taping of the series completely was a 180. I don't know if you want to talk about K Todd. Uh, well, yeah, no, we, 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 I, 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 it was the character was a different character basically from what we originally shot we shot one pilot a year ago and then had to re we did lots of reshoots for the what you've seen now and so they reimagined the character and, and that's when Aaron was really um really great in asking me what do I want to what do I what do I want to be <laughs> who do I want to play you know he said I'm thinking this I'm like yeah I think that's a great way and then let's do a little this and do a little that and and so it kind of he was just very very it was completely completely collaborative and I was so thankful that I was that they respected us enough to allow us in on that process that's and then, like this whole show is it feels like it's about found family and finding people that maybe aren't blood related to you but you find your group of people especially like coming back to a neighborhood that has been gentrified being gone for so long and it sounds like that kind of vibe maybe leaked into like not just on screen, but it's not like a family almost vibe when you were filming, at least with the collaborative. Is that kind of a true feeling? And like that kind of love on screen also went out after the camera stopped rolling. Yeah, it was great. Uh, we had a we, we had a we had a good time filming this. I will say that, but it was also intense. I mean, those scenes are they're like long, lots of long scenes with a lot of stuff happening. So you have to it's <laughs> a lot of brain work and brain power. Oh to get yeah. The day. You know, right. like yeah. it's a fun show, but it's an intense show too. Like, and, and, and just you know, it's in every scene. So I mean, it's really grueling for her. Yeah, really grueling. yeah. And I think on top of that, you know, building a family, you know, this set, this production has really implemented a lot of practices that need to be more. Um, commonplace in film production, TV production. You know, we had so many intimacy coordinators. We had so many um, just among the whole production, not just uh, not just actors, but, you know, corporate and everything, we had people come in and really just sometimes you need people to teach you how to speak to other people, you know, because we don't always have people coming from the same cultures and um, just how behind and supportive they were um, of us as people. And I think um, if something wasn't okay, if we didn't feel comfortable, it was not something that was pushed. We found a way that was um, 
that the same objective could be uh, completed, but in a way that was happy and healthy for not only actors, but for crew members and for everyone who is um, part of the show. And I think that is something that should be a precedent that I want people to know. And then I think everybody that worked on the show to know that we need to do moving forward. So we did, we were a family because we did care about each other to that extent. That's so amazing. I love to hear that. And like the safety on set and making sure everyone is like taken care of. I love that. It shouldn't be so hard, but I'm glad to hear that that happened here. Well, Kita and Keita, thank you so much for chatting with me today about the horror of Dolores Roach. It was a pleasure to meet you and get to talk to you for a bit. Thank you, Mary Beth. Thank you.